All right, we got Iconic with uh, Second Skin. This is, uh, I don't know all the names. Michael Sweet, uh, the singer, I'm forgetting his name. The dude can sing, man. He, he can, he's got some Lou Graham qualities. Um, Tommy Aldridge on drums, phenomenal. And um, I know the bass player's name, but I'm forgetting that. Anyway, CBT guitar, guitar lesson for Kevin. You wanted the whole song minus the solo. Um, this is in standard tuning. What a great song. And um, this is any sign of what the rest of the songs are going to be like. They're going to be fabulous. Anything Michael Sweet does, he puts his heart into it, man. It's, it's really good. So let's jump in. <laughs> So section 1A, zero seconds in, let's jump in. You start with the descending slide, 17E, and then here's the riff. It's got some pole, double poles and stuff in it, some pinch, some vibrato, some palm muting, some alternate picking, I believe. Um, so let's do it. Open E to 7A. When you get to 7A, you're going to do a double pull off. That's 7, 5 open. So we need both these fingers down. Oops. And then pull this one open. And then we're doubling up on the fifth fret pull to open. Seven five E A pinch harmonic vibrato rest. Then palm mute. I mean you could downstroke if you want, but I think it's alternate. It's just at that speed where it just flows better. Um, seven E five A seven six five three on the E. Okay, so we have. Then you do the first hook again. And then the B section on the end. Two open A, palm mute, three E pinch vibrato. Then you go back to the first part. Leads you right into this. Which you're going to be right there. Five, pull three. Pick the three and do that four times. One, two, three, four, five E. Pick, bend, release, pull off to three. Now don't go. You want to hear that that A note ring a second. It's emulating like. All right, and that is our main hook it does it two times um so you get to 20 seconds in 20 seconds in is the verse that's right here oh yeah it's quicker on those by the way so it's an e5 power chord open two ea two three four two two g major three mute open open three three i call that the rock g because the most rock metal band, that's how they play it. D major, two, three, two, open, open. It's got an A on the bass. Which is why you'll see my thumb up here muting that. And then, interesting, they, they grabbed from section 1A and did half of it. Okay, so that's in the verse. Um, then it goes two times, so you're back to two, three, four. Two, three, four. All right. Now that rolls right into section 1C at 40 seconds in, which goes. Okay, so. Once you get it in one spot, you move the whole thing up a whole step. That means two frets, 3A, 5D twice, so it's a C power chord. 5A, slide to seven, and then fifth fret, bar D and G, that's our double stop. Then palm mute the 5D twice, and then seven, pull off to five. And then palm mute seven, five on the A. 
You can do that whole thing two times. Do the same thing, whole step higher twice. Back to the first one twice. Then, top of page three, two, four, four, A, D, and G, so it's a B power chord with the octave in it, and you'll go twice rest, twice rest. Um, so after those, palm mute, open two, open two on the A, um, and then up to a D major, five, seven, 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 A, D, G, B. Or if you want to go, take your pick. All right, moving on to page four. Uh, we got five pages total in this. Uh, section 1D repeats at 206. And then we've got a clean section. Now what I'll do, I'm just going to back the gain up. And it goes... I call this the white snake part. And the singer sounds a little like Coverdale as well. Uh, 2A, 3B, that's all you need for this. It's a hold. In other words, it's a, it's a chord. It's part of a G chord. Um, or E minor 7, actually, is more how you should look at this. Open 2 on the E and A. I don't know why I said G. Well, I do, but it's E minor 7. 3, open, B and G. And then hit E, B, G, B. Say that fast three times. E B G B E B G B E B G B. Here's what it sounds like. Do the same thing with a third fret off the A and an open D. Go back to the first one. And strum the last or the G and B string on that last hit. Um D2, which is 2G and 3B, and we're going to go D, G, B, G, E, B, G, B. It's a common pick pattern. Then you go 3A, open G, open E, 3B. Open D, 2G, open E, 3B. So that's how that ends. So let's play all this. Two times, second time, no star. Let's play it up to there. Then you're going to go after the double dots. So it's the C add 9 1. And then the D2. Pick just like it was last time on the long pattern of eight notes. Okay, that's it for clean. Section 2B, 308 timestamp. Um, I'm going to pull it up to that part really quick because I just need to hear kind of the rhythm of it. It's 308, and this kind of leads us into the solo. Yeah, it's like a skillet sounding part. So E power chord, open E, 2A, and go. And then palm mute down, 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 to down, down. You can do that two times. Interesting, the second one you're going to think it sounds different. Um, but the bass is playing a C over it, and it, it just fits really cool. Um, so, or, we'll be doing that twice, and then open D, G, and B which is G major is implied there. Then you're gonna see the E power chord again, but this time it's down, up, down, down, up. And then down, 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 twice. Okay, then the rhythm for the solo, RFS at 329. It's similar to this, and for some reason, when they mixed this, they pulled the rhythm behind the solo 
further back than you would normally do. Um, it's not a bad thing. It just was a little tougher to hear. It's very similar. So take that E chord. This time you just go. And on this one, I went ahead and blended the C note in there. Uh, it just feels like it needs it. And I'm just playing a C power chord with an E on the bass. So a C5 slash E. Open 3, 5, E, A, D. Three times there. And then back to the E. Um, all right. Two times, second time, no star. In place of that star, you'll do a B flat five. So it's one A, three D, palm muted, going. I know it seems like, whoa, where'd that come from? But it, it's in there. Um, 347, it takes us up to that timestamp. And you're back to this, the E power chord. Six times. Anyways, it's six times of that. And then 401 timestamp. Go ahead and do the C5 with the E bass. Sounds killer. And you'll go. After that, after the... Go to the B flat, palm mute it. Slide off the 15 E. Okay? Then some repeats. The next new part, section 2C, 425 timestamp, is E5 twice to a G5. And it'll go. And then slide off the 17 E. Four twenty-five. Let me jump up there really quick. Four twenty-five right here. Yeah, so it's Yeah, you gotta cut off that G. Into open open two three A D G B. Then Yeah, so twice on that. To an A chord, open A, second fret D and G twice. Pinch harmonic three on the low E. And do that two times. Very cool. So two times of that, and then 436 timestamp is section 2D. Very similar, uh, but it's going to go. Instead of the G power chord, go to 3 mute open open 3, which is like the rock G. Just a standard D major twice. A, A5 power chord twice to a 3E, and do that six times. E5 just rings on the outro. There you have it. Killer song from Iconic Second Skin.